I'm Brad Pettit and I've been Mayor here at the City of Fremantle for just over four years. I just got re-elected and it's a wonderful city to be the Mayor of. I love that for as a port city just because it provides this backdrop, which I think is actually really quite rare now. We've got this amazing industrial backdrop of a real working port with container ships coming and going, which you can actually go right down to the edge and see it happen. And I think, where else in the world can you do that, actually be two minutes from the centre of your city to actually have a tangible working port? And for me, that makes it pretty special. Fremantle is pretty special as well because unlike Perth, we're, we're a bit lucky in some ways, is that um, we managed to keep all our old buildings. So whilst there's a lot of development in the 60s and 70s in Perth, Fremantle actually, for the vast majority, actually kept its high street. And you still go down high street now and you've got this, one of the most intact Victorian streetscapes in the world. Frio and coffee are pretty synonymous and I'm a coffee addict so to be able to come down and have a choice of amazing coffee shops to come to is really important. And uh, I think you can almost judge how good a city is by how good its coffee is. And uh, I know Frio's right up there, which helps my personal addiction really nicely. Right at the end of our high street, just behind the Roundhouse, the oldest building in Western Australia, is a beautiful beach, a beautiful swimming beach that used to be very popular going back um, many, many hundred years ago. But we're just rediscovering it now. And we've been kind of spending a lot of money down there to invite people back and it's really great to see what I think is probably the most inner city beach that we've got in this country actually being, being used again and being loved again. Fremantle has always been a home of artists and that's one of the reasons that I, that I really love it. And what's been great more recently is we've actually started seeing some of the art come out of the galleries and onto the street. So we've both got commissioned street art which, which people have paid for but also we've got a little unofficial street art which just pops up which we loved as well. And actually, City of Fair has been quite um, progressive and actually leaves the best of that unofficial street art up on the walls. And we've got quite a urban gallery now of street art throughout our city. Fremantle is really important, both, I mean, both as, as a city that I love and live in, but from a tourist perspective, it's actually the most visited tourist destination in Western Australia. Over 1.1 million visitors come to Fremantle every, every year. And it is such a special place. I guess that's why, for me, it's such a great city to be part of and to be mayor of as well.